After two great days at Beckles we set off. Our destination is Loddon. Now it's a fair old journey from Beckles to Loddon. It can be anything from four and a half to five hours. Even a little bit longer if you um, are going slowly against the tide. So there's quite a bit of footage here so I'm going to break it down probably to possibly even three videos. Uh, now we're just setting off about quarter to eight in the morning and it's a lovely morning. A little bit fresh obviously but we are in October and well just have a look yourself. The first time we ever hired a boat as adults, myself and my brother Jeff, was from Beckles. I'd be 19, he'd be 18. I was with our lady friends at the time. His lady friend went on to become his wife. And well, I can't remember the boatyard. I know Ipperson's are down here, but it doesn't ring a bell. But then again, all I remember is getting to the boatyard, then walking up into the town and I'm sure there's a fishing shop somewhere that it seemed to me as though it was near the Burning Bells but I don't know that might be my memory playing tricks and we had two weeks and we covered every inch of the broads obviously not stopping at every place but we did quite a lot of cruising and yeah that was the first time as adults we'd been before as children my uncle and my grand took me and our Jeff when we was well I'd be 12 he'd be 11 when my mum was having collect, she was having a bit of a rough time with her. Uh, they took us out of the way. Uh, our Chris was too young to come with us. And that's basically how we got hooked on the broads, both of us, because my uncle bought us fishing tackle. Uh, he'd put the maggots on the hook for us. He'd take the rod off, catching one a chuck. It was absolutely fantastic.
The area was coming up on the left must feature in almost every video that I make when we're on the Southern Rivers. But it is nice, it's a lovely little setting and it's gorgeous. After the first few times we came past it always seemed like there was something else added onto it, another building, a little bit of another boat here and there, a um, bit more done to the garden, the decking area, the key heading. It's a bloody lovely place. I'm not jealous, honestly, no, I'm not. I couldn't live there.
You can't beat a bit of autumn cruising, can you? I should have warned you about this sun, it's a bit bright. It was very bright in real life. Um, I love the autumn cruising. I mean, down south, it's quiet anyway, but in the autumn, you hardly see another boat. And the reeds are taking on that lovely golden brown colour. And you get lovely sunrises and sunsets. Winter can be absolutely fantastic as well. Um, very cold sometimes. Boats aren't designed, are they really, for winter cruising? But if you keep yourself wrapped up and if you've got eaters, not a problem. And yes, well, as long as the river's out frozen over, then what's to stop you?
looking at this on my video editor and even actually on the day when we was on the boat I was checking the speed on the app because I'm thinking we're going really slow, it's as though we're not moving but because it was a long journey to London we couldn't go at 3 mile an hour so we went with the speed limit so if it's 5 mile an hour here we're doing 5 or just under but it does look like we're not going very fast at all and I think a breeze is just getting up now the footage you've just seen before where the music was playing it seemed a shame to disturb the water it looked so calm didn't it blood mean gorgeous I think this is a silver line boat that's approaching here. Now you won't be seeing many of these now down on the southern rivers after they've all disappeared and gone up to Stalham, taken over by Richardson's. So, well it came as a shock to Clet and Carl when I told them about that. The, they've just decided to pack it up and build boats for Richardson's. Part of the deal, all the boats have gone up to Stalham. So Clet had booked it through all seasons, basically basically because I think it's um, a cheaper deposit and well she contacted All Seasons to find out what's going on and All Seasons knew nothing about it so All Seasons have offered a full refund and she's took that I think I think they're just going to well they was going abroad as well so I think now they're just going to miss out on the April trip on the broads sadly there's, oh, there's also Billy and Sue if you remember them from Beckles and Ulton Broad in July, be beginning of August, end of July, uh, they always go with Silver Line. Um, waiting to find out what they're going to do because they're booked for, I think, early July.
or you could just about see the Waverley River Centre in the distance and just as we get very close to it either the battery goes or the SD card goes I can't believe that I would turn the camera off so anyway so this little trip ends very soon um, it's a shame about Waverley River Centre we used to really enjoy going there back in the days when I think the guy we called Alan who lived on the Dutch barge and he used to come around collecting the mooring fees and I think he had free moorings or reduced moorings as his wage basically and the pub was good swimming pool for the kids and um, little pizza place and stuff um, yeah it's not the same now but things change um, we did stop here once we was on a Tobago from Richardson's at Stalham and we told them our plans was to head south as soon as we could and they said well whatever you do tonight don't moor under any single trees <laughs> try to stay away because it was a storm brewing and if you search on my channel for in and out of the storm you'll see uh, a little bit of footage there where we were going to Alton Broad and then we ended up here at Wayne River Centre and the next morning when I got up I just had to walk to the shop and there was a massive branch off one of the trees it wasn't just a little thin branch it was probably a good two foot radius uh, had snapped off all the canoes that you see when you're passing in that little stand they were all blown out all over the place it was flooded I ended up paddling through a blooming big puddle anyway the next video will be start starting off just before summer Layton and heading up then towards Loddon. I don't know how much, whether it be one more or two more, but thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying these little clips.